Well, I don't think there has been a topic this year which has been discussed as much as what the Fed is likely to do in the March meeting. Well, now we don't have to wait very long. The decision is upon us. So let's take a very quick look at where things are in terms of expectations at this point in time. Well, markets expect that the FOMC will raise the funds rate target range by 25 basis point. The case for a 25 basis point rate hike is pretty straightforward. Two weeks ago, in a congressional testimony, Fed Chair Powell indicated that he would propose, and I quote, uh, propose and support, end of quote, a quarter point hike. This comment was made after the Russians were already in Ukraine. The war had begun. Also consider the fact that since the FOMC's last meeting in January, most other Fed members have also said it would be appropriate to hike rates in the March meeting. So a 25 basis point hike seems very, very likely. But what else are the important things to watch out for? The press conference uh, in which uh, you know, the Fed chair will answer questions will be closely watched as always is. Apart from Powell's assessment of pressures from the recent spike in energy and commodity prices, this is perhaps also the place where we will get to hear the thinking on reducing the size of the Fed balance sheet, such as the size of monthly runoff caps and the condition that will warrant the eventual start of the balance sheet reduction process itself. So let's wrap this up with a question which everyone is worried about. What really is the hawkish risk? So 25 basis point hike is widely expected, but what beyond that? A few things which could kind of portray this hawkish risk uh, is, number one, the quantum of medium hikes for 22, which is this year, as indicated by the dots. Uh, could we see an indication for six hikes or even more? This would certainly come as a hawkish surprise. Number two, will there be a large upward revision to inflation forecasts? Number three, could Chair Powell show more concern for high inflation as compared to lower growth? Lower growth because of higher inflation and the balance therein. And lastly, number four, what is the likelihood of Powell leaving the potential for a 50 basis point hike on the table for later meetings, maybe in May or beyond that? Well, as I said, we don't have to wait for very long to find out what the actual decision, etc., is. This is by far one of the most keenly watched FOMC meetings ever, and it is likely to bring about the onset of a tightening cycle. The only question at this stage is, will it be a measured pace of hike like what we saw between 2004 and 2006 or a faster one?